<laughs> what the f that was completely undeserved. Nice. That's exactly what we needed. Hello, gamers. How's it going? Um, I mean, we have a run, kinda, maybe. We have a couple interesting, interesting Andes here. Um, we have Zatu, which seems really, really bad. This guy's pretty good. IV-wise, uh, other than that, I don't know. Uh, this is the worst turtle you've ever seen in your life. Minus defense, 6 HP IV, 6 Spadef IV. You know how it goes. Uh, then we got this Bayleaf, my first Bayleaf. Uh, this guy's interesting. Max defense Bayleaf, might go hard. Might go soft, because it's minus Spadef, who knows. Uh, we have this Lombre, which we royally fucked up because we were first like, oh, we're gonna re delay it for Giga Drain, but then we missed on Fake Out because we delayed the Evo, and then we were like, we actually need it for Brawly, so now it has neither the option to ever get Giga Drain, nor does it have Fake Out. Um, this opponent is looking pretty good, but, you know, it's a Ponyta, so. We have this insane dog who uh, really only is gonna have come to one more fight in this run, which is CRR if we ever make it there. Got non. Solid Rock Turtle, which is nice. Um, having Not having Solid Rock, good for later, for Protect Baits, but right now it's kind of cooked. Worst Seedra you've ever seen. Look at this sh It's not even Swift Swim. Just complete phone number bullshit. Uh, that's pretty much it, honestly. Uh, we went Ice Room and got rewarded with this fucking useless piece of sh Hey, at least he's modest. <clears throat> yeah, that's all this run has, really. Uh, Regenerator Mianfu is immediately useless after Brawly, and I feel like you just have rather rather have inner focus now, so. It's all a bit cooked, but honestly, yeah, this box is pretty trash. We got a scent to Scorch, but he's modest, white smoke, and no spadef, no speed. Nice. Hariyama, good to have. It's got the guts. And we got this as our Zygarde counter. Sturdy Tyrant, huh? No chance for my... No chance against my Ice Ball Celio play. How the f*** you kill this thing? I guess you just leave Palpatote, huh? This is going to click Zen Headbutt, but you're faster. Oh, this Bubble Beam looks mighty... Uh, he sees that I have fast kill on him, so he actually will go Arch in here. You can just stay in, no? Usually, I guess you could get Rock Slide flinch, so we probably do need some backup for this, but... Okay, who are you switching in on this Rock Slide? Maybe this f***ing lad? That looks good to me. Oh, uh, so, wait, see, this Seedra f***ing kills something? What? Unbelievable. Be okay. I just realized this can totally rock slide flinch me to hell and back, but he won't. What kind of chatters do you mostly enjoy? I talk about this a lot. My favorite type of chatter is the work from home chat who's got me up on monitor two or three. They got money to sub. They're grown ups, fully developed prefrontal cortex. They're chilling. They're usually cool. They're not obsessed, you know? They don't have any stake in getting social, parasocial validation from me. Because they have, like, a functioning life. It's like, if you, if, if... To make a good... Chatter, you have to hit a certain balance of touching grass. And being online, because you gotta be online enough, to, you know, to, to be around. <laughs> and be familiar with the concept of the stream and all that, and be nerdy enough to vibe with it. But at the same time gotta touch enough grass to be like a normal human being so if you're watching me during your work time and then during your time off you're doing normal person stuff that's usually pretty good uh parameters damn bayleaf kind of goes in on this guy probably more than grotal right okay so we're baiting incinerate off of this dude aurora's is so useless man <laughs> can i go pony here <laughs> what am i thinking why would i go pony there um, Scorching Sands does a lot of damage. 
Can we go this guy maybe? We're not thick fat, are we? Accept the uni student prime sub Andy as well. Yeah, you guys are cool. Sometimes being speed touch shouldn't really matter here. Hariyama just wins this, right? Like he doesn't do any damage. If he burns me, I'm guts. Because it feels like maybe Hariyama would be better suited to deal with this little leap. But I don't really have a good answer to Karkoal. And like you would think maybe he would deal with both potentially, but do we have an Andrew that can do this? Maybe this is Krogunk's time to shine? He takes a lot of damage. If this guy boosts up, you're a little bit in trouble, huh? Because of the Calm Mind stuff, I think maybe Grodel is better. I think you gotta go Grodel. I think it's the way. I guess I didn't need a berry anyway because he's gonna incinerate this. Okay. Okay. Is there an argument to stay in? Kind of. I have fast two at KO, so he can't calm mind. He can only ever click Scald this turn. Pokemon challenges is dead. Long live he only does 40. I think I just always win here. Because two Force Palms kill this. Damn, hurry, I'm kind of the goat in this gym, huh? Bitrate's been better. I talked about it last time. Um... Not to jinx it, but uh, there was a there was I got an I got a text message that there was scheduled maintenance on my node like a week ago, and my bitrate has not dropped a single a single little bit ever since. Okay, I should switch here because of infestation. I think I'm just dead to Giga Drain crit, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Skull burn to kill, that was never an option here. What was my plan for this leap? Was it really, was it really Krogunk? I mean, he's gonna have to clutch up, what can I say? I don't really even have other options. No reason not to fake out. I guess he's left over, so he's going to recover it anyway, but it gives us a chance to proc Poison Touch. This is unfortunately a range to two shot, especially through lefties, but I think I always have it. Okay. That was a little bit. a little bit bad, I think. I don't think anything could have gone wrong there. If he infestations turn one, no, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Well, it's time to cook this Roxanne, and honestly, I think she looks pretty. F I'm not gonna lie. I couldn't even find a good lead last time we looked at this. Hariyama lead. I feel like Hariyama is what I need for Lunatone, though. Is the problem, you know? Like, yeah, Hariyama lead does it, but you can also get Iron Head flinched and sh like. Yeah, I think we talked about either Palpitate or Senta Scorch last time, is what we said. Palpitoad actually has HP fighting, but it doesn't matter. Boltund has it. That also doesn't matter. Palpitoad triggers Defiant. Hmm, yeah, that's kind of true, huh? Well, it triggers Defiant after it gets attacked, and then you're faster, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so this always works. Um, I think the other one we looked at was Senta Scorch, which doesn't always work, so I don't know why we looked at that. <laughs> Um, I think Krogung is just not him. Yeah, no, you gotta go Palpitoad. Um, the problem is, right, you're taking a knockoff. Let me export this with no item real quick. You're anywhere between 55, 45, sometimes you're really low. So you're always bidding a thousand arrows or dragon claw. K 
Can you directly go Huntail here? I mean, you kind of have to, right? You're never going to get a better switch. Honestly. Yeah, if you can pivot through Gordle, that would be great, obviously, but... Since this can be Dragon Claw, I think this is just... I'm, we're not going to find a better opening than this, I'm pretty sure. Unless there's like a world where Grotal HP doesn't matter by so much that you're willing to just swap into a Dragon Claw. Yeah, not with this Grotal, I agree. It's like, obviously it's always risky, right? Um, if he crits uh, either of the two moves, it's just over. But at least on the second one, he has a chance to skitter smack, but yeah. Also, it just takes more damage from this too. Like, I fished for this for a reason, man. You're pretty much always baiting Dragon Claw 50-50. Because you can't even Orin Berry, right? I was thinking maybe if you intentionally take more damage somehow... You can at least make it like a 25%, but that's never gonna happen. Because you can't pre-damage, and... Obviously you're triggering to find the next sense you have to kill immediately. Okay, so this kills it. It's probably gonna be really low. And then we're probably getting random move from Auroras, right? Okay. Because, like, I, I, there's no way I ever switch anything into random move Auroras. It's just always exactly planned, sack, Houndtail. There's nothing we can do. What am I even using on Auroras? Oh my god, me and Fu speed ties him. That's so unfortunate, man. Like, I can use Hari. If I get the free switch. But again, I still need a Lunatone answer, right? Like, the only way I can do it with this box, I'm pretty sure. I don't even have a Dark type or anything. HP Fighting Boltund. Okay, like, no cap. That does sound kind of hype. That does 52. Why does that do 52? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of HP, huh? No, I can't use Bolton. The, the thing with Lunatone is you need to use something that doesn't get it to- that gets it to not Ancient Power. I think I have to use Hariyama, I'm pretty sure. Unless I want to get the candy or something. So how am I killing Auroras? The fact that Mianfu speed ties is so sad. You could risk it. Crit is 43% to kill, so we would have to win the speed tie. And then body slam crit you and hit the 43% range. Okay, one thing I can do... If this is Dragon Claw into Skitter Smack, which is fiction, obviously. But sometimes this is Discharge. From Auroras on Huntail. It doesn't matter. Palpitoad was also Hidden Power of Fighting. I'm just looking at stuff right now. Okay, yeah, this is just fictional. Okay, so we'd have to go me and Fu. We'd have to risk some fiction. What is it, bait? It kind of depends if I win the speed tie or not. No, because I always recover whatever he does. So if I if I do dodge the fiction, I'm always full HP. Okay, it's guaranteed Psycho Cut Soul Rock. Bro, I can't even really beat Soul Rock, I think. I mean, the Cedar outspeeds. He's not him. Okay, this is where Ominous Wind Zatu goes crazy. <laughs> I have nothing for Soul Rock, I'm pretty sure, right? I think I have to do, like, Seedra <laughs> and just pray. I think I have nothing else, unless I want to go for Candy. Okay, so, on Caracosta. Is there upside to using Bayleaf? No, right? Because you're not even draining. I'm taking more damage. This is minimum spadef bayleaf, by the way. Dude, I have like minimum spadef bayleaf, minimum defense scrotal. It's just worst of both worlds. Yeah, 
Yeah, I might have to roll Rust, bro. I think I just have nothing for Soul Rock, right? It's always this, and it's always Hariyama on Lunatone. So the missing link is Soul Rock. Okay, the one thing that Bayleaf does that Grodel doesn't do is it outspeeds if he boosts. Like, let's say you have to switch into AP and he boosts, right? I think you just lose, right? You do 25 on your first Magical Leaf. You just die to Ancient Powers. If you switch into Ancient Power, yeah, I think you you have to go Grodel. Because at least you have Mega Drain Recovery. Okay, it's never Bayleaf. Okay, what can I do on Soul Rock realistically? I think we just gotta run the Seedra. You always get one Bubble Beam off. This is so ass though. You do always get one Bubble Beam off. But then how do you fucking kill this with what you have left in the back? Maybe Palpitoad somehow? You just get, you probably just get outsped and killed, right? Because you're taking like 44 min off of knockoff. I think it's, I just gotta run, I, I just gotta throw Seedra at it, right? I don't know, this box is so bad. If I now go for Rustboro encounter and roll some dog shit. Seedra switches in on Psycho Cut, so like, sometimes you just die to rolls. It's unlikely, but not fictional at all. I think he has to max roll both actually, right? Because otherwise it's 28 plus 31. But he could just, if he crits, the, the thing is, you're at least always getting off the bubble beam. They should make a berry. Or like a gem that makes you, no, that doesn't make sense. That would just be better than every gem that makes you crit on the first turn. Oh, is there one? Lancet berry? Is that a pinch berry that crits? There might be. Okay, I think, like, honestly, like, sure, I could find exactly Togi or Dawnfan right now. Should we think about candy, maybe? The thing is, that my candies are actually really valuable for Watson. So I think exactly this gives us a better fight. And exactly this gives us a better fight. And this. And rolling anything, I mean rolling Growlithe is obviously good for the rest of the run, but the rest is all... bad. 25% chance. And this line is okay. I think. Maybe. Okay, so you do kill with Vital Throw into Payback. You do have to dodge a lot of f***ing bullshit. But that's just Roxanne, right? Like... You go Chesto and you pray. Like, honestly, this is okay. The Bisharp is safe. This is really, really rough, but it's not going to get any better. Unless we rolled on fan. Um, and then you sack this always. That's just how it goes. Even if you could get if you could get guaranteed discharge out of this, does that change anything? It doesn't, right? It just doesn't matter. And then the soul rock is really dangerous. You're dodging two crits, or even sometimes just double high roll, double max roll, and missing the range. So this is really really dangerous. But if I lose Seedra, it's not the end of the world because it's dog sh Then maybe somehow this frauds this frauds it. And I think Grodel can like definitely win here, right? Yeah. I think, yeah, yeah. Like worst case, I walk out with dead Huntail and dead Seedra, which is fine. Like obviously three deaths past Roxanne is kind of bad, but considering my box and everything, I think it's kind of a throw to go for Rustboro or Candy or something. No. I'll definitely need the Candy on Watson split. All right, there's a lot that can go wrong on this fight. I'll walk you through uh, my box. I, I mean, I could have improved my box if I went for the candy or if I went for the Rustboro City encounter, but um, this box is already pretty bad. So I feel like going for this early sh it's not worth it. I'd rather play a little bit more greedy with a box like this. No speed scale on me and Fu. To play around fucking <laughs> Lose speed tie, get crit, and he hits the crit range? Nah, I think I'm good. About scaling at 28 speed with 31 speed for that. I think I'm good. Alright, pretty much every single Pokemon here is not risk-free. I th yeah, Actually, I, yeah, that's correct. Every single one has a risk attached to it here, except the Bisharp. The Bisharp has no risk attached to it. 
So we're no item Palpitoad, so that this knockoff does less damage. We're gonna Mud Shot him. This has a Focus Sash. We're gonna Mud Shot him. Um, and uh, proc is defined, but because he's fast for the first turn, that doesn't matter. We're just gonna kill him the turn after. Okay. 40 HP. That is unfortunately not great. That is less likely to give us a Dragon Claw over a thousand arrows, but that's just what we rolled. Okay, so this is going to be Zygarde, most likely 1,000 arrows. I have to keep Grotal full HP. This is the riskiest part. We just got to dodge two crits now, just straight up dodge two crits, nothing else to it. Pray for me. The second crit is less likely because he can skitter smack that turn. Oh, he went Dragon Claw, that's really good. Don't crit. Alright, dodge one more crit. Um, let's see, the crit is even a range, but it's a pretty good one. We have to dodge one more crit on a turn where he can, in fact, skitter smack, because we have a special move. Nice! Huge. This was the optimal result. Unfortunately, this does nothing to save Huntail's life. This is where scaling speed on uh, me info would have been good. Because I think this is guaranteed discharge from Aurorus. Yeah. So what we could do, if this me and Fu was actually faster, it's speed tying it right now, is um, we could just switch into this discharge and then outspeed and kill to save Huntail's life, but uh, because we got 28 speed IV instead of what we would have needed 30 to outspeed, Huntail has to die here. It is what it is, bro. Thanks for playing. This is the thing that you're always supposed to do in this run, is to kill the Zygarde, and you did just that wonderfully. May I meet you again if I ever need another Zygarde counter for Roxanne. Let me think one second if there's anything I can do. There's just not. Okay. See ya. All right, and now the next thing we have to dodge is Mianfu losing this speed time and then getting crit and him hitting the range off of that crit. We got it. Didn't need to sack on tail. <laughs> All right, so far so easy. This was the easy part. I would say, nah, the hunt tail part was kind of really hard because if we get crit there, we just lose the run. Okay, now this is the sh this is the one where it, it's most likely to go wrong, though. Um, we're switching in on a cycle cut here. So Cedra outspeeds this, but um, it can die to high rolls. It can die to crits, and uh, it can also miss the range on killing this. Um, if he rolls forty-two twice, which is a one in four. Yeah, basically Cedra is 1 in 16 to not kill this. There's just so much that can go wrong, and if that happens, we're in a pretty bad spot. This Cedra is the most dark shit Cedra of all time, so I'm not super sad if I lose it here. It's like minimum special attack, no swift swim. But uh, I would like to save it. Okay, so far so good. He needs Rock Slide crit to kill. If he crits, uh, if Cedar crits here, it's actually, it actually kills because we're Sniper. Looks like an okay enough roll. Don't crit. Unlucky. We're steering. 
There's a lot that could have gone wrong there. Um, I think this is just always, literally, there's no other thing to do than exactly go to a Grotal. Hopefully kill this with Mega Drain. It's probably a range to kill. It's the exact same range as Bubble Beam, actually. Um, not get Rock Slide flinched, and then um, not get AP boosted on the second Ancient Power. The first Ancient Power is Truck anyway. Yeah, I think he can't Morning Sun, because with Miracle Seed, I do more than 50. Don't get flinched. One time. Okay, hit the range. Alright, awesome. This is okay. Losing the Cedar is fine. Alright, now, this can be Ancient Power. In fact, it is always Ancient. Well, no, actually, it is... I see one probably has special AI, right, or something. I don't know. Let's just let's just hope he icy wins. Or doesn't boost. Okay, nice. There is no reason not to fake out, right? Okay, so this has uh, Ancient Power, it has Weakness Policy, and it has Stored Power. You can do the math on how that works. Um, it also has Hypnosis, which we would actually like to see here. So we can't pay back yet because it's going to trigger Weakness Policy. We have to Vital Throw first, but Vital Throw into Payback always kills. Okay, that's really good. It doesn't really matter here. Hypnosis there was fine too, but I think this means that we always have it. Because he can't Ancient Power, right? Okay. Um, it doesn't matter if he uses Hypnosis on the Payback. It's not, payback isn't Revenge. Payback is just always boosted if you um, move second. I'm pretty sure. Okay, he didn't Hypnosis once, that's not optimal, but it's fine. Alright, now it's just dodge. Wait, no, this never Ancient Power is on the Switch, right? Oh, well, maybe I could have done the pivot on Huntail. It wouldn't have mattered. Okay. I think we're okay now. I think second AP boost is maybe fine. Okay. I think AP boost now is fine, I think. So this has a window berry, and solid rock and stuff, so this is not going to do that much damage yet. Nice crit. Okay. I think if he boosts now we're fine. Yep. We got him, boys. Alright, two death. That's three death total past Roxanne, but it's all mons that are definitely expendable. And uh, we save Rustboro encounter and uh, the, pre the, the candy as well, which is really good. That's probably the best thing about this. Yeah, Huntail obviously comes in clutch on the Slowbro, sacking all of our Slowbro counters. Yeah, it's not looking great in that department, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. So just to be sure here, this switches into this, takes 38, sorry, this switches into this, takes 46 from Dragon Rage, and then you're faster, you outspeed, 
You kill with wild charge and take 24 recoil, so it's always safe, right? Okay. You gonna go for Lucha again? Dude, I don't f***ing know. I have no idea what my box looks at that looks like at that point. Although, to be fair, I did really base my decision around what my box looked like. <laughs> just because... I'm definitely gonna unequip the Silk Scar after this, just because the Sneasel can, like, knock off. And that would be a really unfortunate way to lose your sh um, but I think other than that, we should be good. Okay. Okay, we did bring potions. I think it's just Oran Berries all the way down, no? No, you gotta go Chesto. Do I get more Chesto soon, by the way? Kinda running low a little bit. Okay, I think we should be good. And so we just fake out, we Wild Charge. And then we Sludge Bomb and we Wild Charge. And then that's the worst he can do. And I think we, like, low sweep. And switch to, like, Hariyama. And then we don't click Fake Out on this because it has inner focus. We rather just switch to, like, Rapidash. And we Force Palm. Right, right. And then we flame wheel. Cool, that's how easy this fight is if you are five levels higher <laughs> than you're supposed to be. Sorry, seven levels higher. So yeah, we beat the monkey PB. Amazing. <laughs>